tough with other countries, but I got along very well with them. But, you know, we were like a, we were like a pussycat. We were ripped off by every nation in the world. And some of the worst rippers were our so-called allies, hmm. people that countries that we supposedly get along with us with, but they're the ones that took advantage of us on trade mm -hmm. at a level like, you know, I mean, I, I ended some of the dumbest trade deals I've ever seen and made them much better for the country. I mean, what mm -hmm. difference does it make? I made, I made, I took a terrible trade deal would make it a good trade deal. Mm -hmm. But like Japan, I redid the trade deal. South Korea, I did the trade deal. The, uh, the deals, I went to Abe uh, of Japan. I said, Shinzo, he was assassinated. Mm -hmm. He was, he was, a, as you probably, mm -hmm. he's incredible, great man. He was a great leader for the people. They loved him. I said, Shinzo, look, we can't do this. The trade deal is so bad. We're friends, but I have to renegotiate the trade deal. And he said to me, I knew that would happen. Hmm. I said, why did you know? Because you're right. It's so one-sided. Wow. It's like, <laughs> he said, I knew you'd catch us. Hmm. But they went through many presidents where Japan was... As an example, they'll send us millions of cars. We're not allowed to send them any. Hmm. They send this, us their, their farm product. We were sending them practically nothing. It was like a one-way, everything right, right. was one-way. And, and by the way, uh, virtually every. China was the worst, but there were many countries almost as bad. The European Union was almost as bad, in my opinion. Hmm. You know, it sounds nice. Oh, the European Union is so nice. They were ruthless in hmm. their trading. And I, I said to Angela Merkel, how many Chevrolets do we have in the middle of Berlin? Why? I don't believe any. I said, you're right. Hmm. And yet we take in the, you know, all of that. We take in uh, Mercedes BMW, Benz Mercedes. and BMW and we take in all of this Volkswagen. Wow. Volkswagen. We're taking yeah. in all of these millions and millions of cars. I say, how many American cars are in the middle of uh, Munich or Berlin? Mm -hmm. And the answer is none. Mm -hmm. And I had things change around. So... You know, you could say, I, mean, I, I think that uh, the answer would be, at this moment, Iran. Mm -hmm. And I think they could catch him. And if we had a real president, which we don't, we don't have a real president. We have a man that uh, is grossly inept. And it's very dangerous because these guys are all at the top of their game. Mm -hmm. When you talk about President Xi and you talk about any one of the leaders in the world, Macron, and uh, he's a smart guy. He's all for France. I mean, I, he would... He would yeah. take the shirt off your back oh, if you didn't know what you were doing. So are, when you're with these guys, are these guys all sharks? With, yeah. And you can sense the energy immediately? Yeah, not all of them, but, but some of them aren't sharks. In terms, how are you assessing personality? Okay, when you well, I, I can tell you, like... Um, That's great. Modi, yeah. India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a friend of mine, he's great. He's the nicest... India, yeah. this is for you. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. well, I'll tell you. Do you like him or not? yeah. yeah. Do you like I, I I have family on both sides, though. Okay, I have family that loves everything and family I'll just that's not. You, you need him. <laughs> well, they had, you know, before him, they had they were replacing him every year. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very unstable. Mm -hmm. He came along. He's in a lot he's, he's great. He's a friend of mine. But on the outside, he looks like he's your father. He's the nicest. Total killer. Because mm. I asked him. Yeah. Uh, we're talking. I did. We did a thing called... Howdy Modi in Houston, Texas. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. And they filled up the stadium. I was, it was me and him. Yeah. We, we filled up the stadium. It was beautiful. Uh, like 80,000 people was going crazy. And we're walking around. Today, maybe I wouldn't be as... Uh, maybe you wouldn't do that. Yeah. But we're walking, we're walking in the middle, <laughs> waving to everybody. Anyway, but we have a very good relationship. He's the nicest human being. But we had a couple of occasions where somebody was threatening India. I yeah. said... Let me help. I'm very good with those people. Let me help. I will do it. I will do it. Then I will do anything necessary. We've defeated them for hundreds of years. Wow. He was talking about a certain country. Okay? Yeah. You can probably guess yeah. the country. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can't fathom which. Do you know the country? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I said, whoa, what happened there? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so, no, they're all tough and they're all smart. Uh, and some are very good people. He's a good person. Uh, there's some are good people and some aren't good people. Mm -hmm. when, but they're yeah. all at the top of their game. Mm -hmm. And or, we you, have her, yeah. who is you know now more important than him, I guess. Although he's still president of this country. Yeah. And we're talking about nuclear war. And yeah. he's not capable. He doesn't even know what it is. Yeah. He said yesterday, when they talked about, should they hit Iran's nuclear? No, no, you shouldn't do that. He said, no. Oh. It's sort of just the opposite. Because... The nuclear is the biggest threat we have in the world today. 
It's not global warming where the oceans are rising one eighth of an inch in the next 500 years. Yeah. Right. The threat that we have, the biggest threat is nuclear war. Yeah. You because seem concerned about that. I, I am I've, because, I've, yeah. because it only takes one. Uh, true. I am. Very true. They have five countries now that have capability and soon they'll have more and we shouldn't let there be more. And I was at a point very good, despite the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, it was a total hoax and we were totally exonerated and everything else. I could have told them that the first day, but, but that causes, you know, a lot of problems, yeah. a lot of problems. And they're a big nuclear power. We were uh, close to a deal for getting rid of nuclear weapons. It would be so good. For now, all countries or just Russia? We were talking about Russia, ourselves and China. Oh, wow. And we would then bring everyone else into it. And mm -hmm. so you all strongly, would, you all would get rid of your nuclear capabilities. Denuclearize, yes. We uh, were going to get wow. rid totally de of nuclear because it's too powerful. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. You know, my uncle, Dr. John Trump, was the I, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. John Trump. Well, he was a nuclear doctor, actually. He was, yeah. he was at MIT. He's the longest serving professor at MIT. He passed away. Great guy. He was a brilliant guy, a brilliant scientist. And he used to tell me, he said, a long time ago, he'd say, uh, Donald, someday it's very dangerous. Somebody will be able to carry a small briefcase into a building in New York and mm. blow up the entire city. Oh, wow. 